Um, good day, good evening. Um, you have just looked here at chapter eight, and just to recap a little bit, we saw Okonko paying a visit to um, one of his friends, Obierika, and uh, upon visiting him, Obierika informs him that uh, he also was about to pay him a visit so that he could invite him to his the, the negotiations of his daughter's bride price. So when Okonko um, visits his friend, Obierika, this experience has a healing effect. Remember, he's troubled by his participation in the murder or sacrifice of Ikemefuna. So uh, he's invited to attend the ceremony to negotiate Obierika's daughter. Her name is Akueke, um, her bride price in chapter 8. So we see that after this, in chapter 9, he has better peace of mind because he is occupied with something. Um, Ikwefi, one of his wives, wakes him up in the morning by banging at his door to alert him of Ezinma's illness. Uh, he later discovers that he, he has a fever, what they refer to as an, an Iba. Learn one very interesting thing about Ezinma, that um, she is rather a strange child because she calls her mother by her name instead of calling her mother. And um, we also learned that Ikwefi had born 10 children and nine of them had died. And um, this results in her becoming very, very miserable. Of course, up until um, Ezinma is born and, and actually lives. Now, this sickness that has um, taken over Ezinma very scary for, for Ikwefi because at the age of 10 now she had the belief that Esinma would make it. That is why she is panic stricken and rushes off to um, wake up Okonko because she's worried that perhaps um, the evil spirit has returned and might take Esinma's life. So they believed that these children the ones that died were Ogbanjes. And Ogbanje was an evil spirit that dwelt within these children. And after the death of these children, the evil spirits returned to their mother's womb to be born again in another child and only to kill that child again. So their belief was that the only way to get rid of these Ogbanjes was to find what they called an e Ua. Now, an Iuwa is kind of a pebble or a stone that um, linked these children or the Ogbanyes to the spiritual world. So, if Iuwa was found, it needed to be destroyed so that the child could live. Um, we note that in this chapter, having children um, that live was every woman's pride. And really, really, Zinma's mother um, is distraught or is hurt and uh, feels that her, her womanhood or her motherhood is undermined because of her failure to give Okonko any children, especially boy children. So, um, Noya's mother celebrates the birth of, of three sons. So, this is rather disturbing and uh, rather hurtful. Ezinma's mother. Um, one of her children of the nine that die, they named Onwombiko. Now, Onwombiko is not given a proper burial because, according to one of the medicine men, uh, they believe that you need to, to ridicule these evil spirits. So he decides to use a razor blade to mutilate the body of Onwombiko. 
and drag it by the ankle to the evil forest. That way, he said, the Okupanye would be in so much shame that it would not return to the mother's womb or to Ikwefi's womb. Um, Okakbue, another medicine man, the same medicine man, um, manages to dig up as in must he who are and all the boys that she will live. And to the next slide. Okay. So we realize that it's only been here since as in must he who was found and destroyed. So this is why there is terrible fear within Ikwefi um, that this sudden illness might result in the death of the Simba. However, we see that Okonko does not really, really panic because he is the one who um, identifies the illness as a mere fever. So he does not normally show emotion, but in this case, he rushes off to the bush to gather some herbs for the girl and prepares some medicines which they um, administer to Azenma, ending the, the chapter.